With schools out and families staying home, officials with the West Texas Pri uh, Poison Center say it's seeing an uptick in calls about children getting their hands on cleaning supplies. The Poison Center says it has seen a 60 to 70 percent increase in calls. Officials say many small children are attracted to the bright colors of some hand sanitizers, making them more likely to accidentally eat it. It is important to know the signs of hand sanitizer poisoning, which include instability and drowsiness. There are some things all parents can do to protect their children from poisoning. Strategy, of course, is to keep all such products up and out of reach or better yet locked away, except they're, when they're being used. Again, it's hard to do that with hand sanitizer if you want it readily available, but certainly we can put it at a height where a small child wouldn't be able to get it. And it is important to remember never to leave children unsupervised around cleaning supplies and hand sanitizers and always leave chemicals in their original containers.